Let's make a proofing parrot. It's easier than you think. The parts we're going to need. We need a 12 inch long 1 inch copper pipe, a 12 inch long half inch copper pipe, and a piece of 3 8 of undetermined length. Uh, decide later. This will be the little spout where uh, it comes out and into your jar. So that length will kind of depend on what size jars you're using and so forth. A piece of inch and an eighth three quarter pipe. Inch and an eighth half inch pipe. Inch and a half half inch pipe. Half inch cap. A half inch by half inch by three quarter T. A two inch by three quarter reducer. Inch and a quarter by one inch reducer. One inch by three quarter reducer. Three quarter street by half inch reducer. Three quarter street simply means it slides in instead of um, you know, if you take another three-quarter fitting, if it's not a street, it won't slide into the next fitting. They're flush, so it's made for a pipe to go in between. But a three-quarter street is made to go into a fitting, and I just do that to reduce height. And also a three-quarter 90-degree elbow. Tools and supplies you're going to need. You're going to need uh, some flux, you're going to need some sand cloth, lead free solder, a cleaning tool. This is specific for cleaning copper pipes. It is by far the best way to clean the copper pipes. Uh, the, uh, pipes and fittings have got to be really clean for soldering to work. Uh, a step bit, optional. Uh, you could get the exact right size bit. What that's actually going to be for is drilling a hole in one of the fittings that is just right to accept this 3 8 pipe. Eighth, I'm just using an eighth inch bit to start it and then I'm going to use a step bit to get to the size that I want when I drill that fitting. A pair of pliers. Uh, it's best to have a vise or some vise grips whatever so that you can hold the copper pieces in place while you're soldering. Soldering is a two-handed job. This is a torch kit. Comes with a tank and a torch for soldering. This one is a map gas. You can also use propane. Either one works. The map gas just heats things up faster. Uh, all these supplies can you can find them at your local hardware store, big box store, they all pretty much have this stuff here. Some of these fittings uh, that we talked about a while ago, like these two, I couldn't get these at Home Depot or Lowe's, my local hardware store. Uh, Ace didn't have them. I had to go to a specialty shop. I uh, found out later they're much cheaper on Amazon. I'll leave some links for these hard to find fittings. A Dremel tool of some sort uh, because we have to we have to grind down some of the insides of this inch and a quarter by one inch fitting. So I used a Dremel tool. Uh, you could do it by hand with a file. Uh, whatever you've got that you can grind down inside that fitting. I use an angle grinder to cut the pipe. You can also use a pipe cutter specific for cutting copper pipe or even a hacksaw. And then uh, we're going to need a drill. There's your parts and supplies. For the top part, where you're going to take your readings, where the hydrometer is going to float, we need this pipe to extend just barely past the top of this fitting. And when you buy these fittings, they are designed with a little ring 
that stops this pipe from going any further in a plumbing application. You don't want this pipe going into uh, the adapter. Uh, so we've got a grind. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. We've got to grind this little ring in here down so that the pipe will pass through. So we'll want it to be just like that because the distal it's going to come is going to come up this tube here and overflow into this tube and we want to be able to read across the meniscus line which is going to run right across here. Okay next we we want to do a dry fit so we'll take the one inch by inch and a quarter that we did all the grinding on Uh, we'll get this piece in. Then uh, we're going to go to the reducer. This is the one inch to three quarter reducer. Then the inch and an eighth by three quarter pipe. Then the half inch by three quarter T. Then the inch and one eighth half inch pipe. Then the half inch cap. Inch and a half long half inch pipe. The half inch elbow. The twelve inch half inch pipe, the half inch by three quarter street, and the two inch by three quarter reducer. And so there you have it, everything dry fit. This does not include yet the spout, uh, which we will do after all of this is soldered up. It's going to come off here. Okay, it's time to start soldering things up. I'm going to get all my pieces prepped and then I'll come back.
everything soldered together. Now we've got to um, have a uh, drip tube on here. So I got to drill a hole into this fitting and then solder this into it. I think I'll come off this side here though. So I got to drill a hole. I'm going to use a pilot bit first and then I'm going to use the stepping bit to get it just to the right size that I want to perfectly fit this.